Right, got some pro found some in the garage some early prototypes of me spawn, sort of the way it went forward really. First model was this one, glued bits together, the idea principle that it was going to go in and open up. There was two fins on the front to help it and a line going through the lead to release. So that was the principle. Sh tried it, it was really good. I uh, couldn't believe how good it was actually for what it looks like. Um, the next model, starting to look, obviously the principle worked, so we went for the next one which was the nose cone releasing it. Same thing, released and in it went. This one was good, but obviously we needed to look forward to other designs. Thought we'd try a bigger one. The nose cone was more the principle on this, so we made it larger so I could get the nose cone right. This one was adjustable and a latch on the inside so it could clip in. Again, everything sort of worked and this was fine, just made out of gutter tube and stuff. From there, I've had the principles. The next thing was a shape to get the shape right. Uh, in the vise with a drill and circular saw literally made that one that was my shape I wanted then I got some moldable plastic I bought molded some plastic round it in two halves and ended up with the first real spawn looking one now we had a live hinge which was just plastic small amount of plastic with the same principle nose cone as that one still adjustable because I needed to get the spring tensions so this one was the first one that was really like the spawn once I had that one, it was time to move on to actually getting something made. We went for the first one out of the mouldings, was very similar to this. The, um, we went and got the fin size wrong, so after a few modifications to get the fin sizes and bits right to make it a bit more stable in flight, we ended up with this one. Live hinge on this, nose cone, we still hadn't really sorted the tail out, we were still working on the principles of getting it getting it going in the right direction but now we've got the size and the principal shape and everything with a nose cone to go in that wasn't finalized moving forward on that the live hinge was no good so we've got a proper uh, started to get proper hinges we went for an interlatchable one on the hinge that was no good it could never be designed to withstand the pressures of it going in and opening up it would always cause problems so from that it had to be a proper Again, we was changing the nose cone, different designs on that. So roughly the final one, nose cone done, pinned and on the hinge there. Probably the bit that took the most time of all of it was to develop the tail so that you, when it hit the water, it would stop and wouldn't damage the springs. That in designing in itself, the, the front nose cone now became hollow because it allowed it to wash out. We found with all the closed ones you had problems of stuff sticking in it and causing problems. So in opening up the nose cone it allowed it to wash all the time. So every cast cleaned it, really see it come back in ready to go. Bits could get stuck in it but at least they would come out. Whereas if you had a sealed one you wouldn't be able to release it. Now we're on with adding a spring so that it would stay open rather than allowing the water to open. Um, so the evolution was really there. It was a finished product really. It wasn't quite as easy as that, but it took about two years every day, 24 hours of my life thinking about how to get it right. Once I've taken the first patent application, you've got a time scale where really you've got to be finished at the end of it. So those two years of my life were 24 hours a day for two years. Now we've got the spawn.